Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Hopscotch Myths, Perseus and the Snake Monster Perseus lived with his mother on an island called Seraphos. The king of Seraphos was a bully. He wanted to marry Perseus's mother. She hated the king. Leave my mother alone, Perseus told the king. I will only leave her alone if you prove you're a hero said the king. What must I do? asked Perseus. Bring me the head of Medusa, said the king, knowing it was an impossible task. Medusa was a monster with snakes for hair and teeth like a tiger's. Anyone who looked at her face turned into stone. The goddess Athena decided to help Perseus. She gave him a shield that shone like a mirror. Don't ever look at Medusa's face, said Athena. Only look at her reflection. Use this shield. Then Hermes, messenger of the gods, gave Perseus a sword. Use this to kill Medusa, he said. Now you must go to see the three witch sisters to find out where Medusa lives. The three witch sisters shared one eye and one tooth. At first, they refused to help. So Perseus snatched their eye and their tooth. Give us back what is ours, screamed the sisters. Then we will help you, Perseus agreed. In return, they told Perseus where to find Medusa. But you'll need more than that to win, they said. One sister gave Perseus sandals with wings. You can fly high with these, she said. And this helmet will make you invisible, said the second sister. Perseus was very pleased. Take this too, said the third sister. You'll need it. She gave Perseus an empty sack. Perseus flew into the night on his winged sandals. No one saw him with his invisible helmet on. Perseus found Medusa snoring in a cave. The snakes on her head were hissing. On the floor inside the cave, he saw many heroes. They had all been turned to stone. Perseus remembered what Athena had told him. He looked only at Medusa's reflection in his shield. With one blow, he cut off her head and put it into the sack. He was careful not to look at her face. Perseus returned to Seraphos. Let my mother go, he demanded. Never, cried the king angrily. So Perseus held up Medusa's head and turned the wicked king into stone. Everyone on the island cheered. They held a great feast for Perseus. After that day, Perseus was famous. He was the hero who killed Medusa, the snake monster. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope to enjoy this story and I'll see you soon in the next video. Remember to be good and kind. Bye for now. <music>